after a 22-7 win over Lycoming tonight here at Mustang Stadium. Glenn Clark, MC McFadden, now joined by the head coach of the Mustangs, Coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, uh, before we get into tonight's game, I made a mistake pregame and did not ask you about uh, Coach Adele, who I know is just yeah. a titan um, locally and throughout the game of lacrosse. If you could just tell me what uh, Coach Adele meant to you and to the entire lacrosse community as uh, he unfortunately passed away today. Yeah, it was, an, it was a shame. You know, He's just a great guy, and you know, I've, I've known him for a long time, and he's always had nice words to say about everybody and you know it's just I feel bad for Dave Sokoski who's one of his uh, really good friends as well and one of my really good friends who I was with Maryland with and uh, you know it's just a tough situation when you lose an icon like that through across the whole lacrosse world I'm sure there's a lot of heavy hearts and you know um, and for him he's had touched so many people in so many positive ways you know so as I say he's a gentle giant and he just meant so many to so many people and that's just that's really kind of unheard of around here nowadays and so uh, our best to his family and uh, our prayers are with them and uh, I know they get through this difficult time with uh, flying colors with all the support the Maryland lacrosse family obviously will give them and everybody uh, in the lacrosse nation. I appreciate you saying that and again apologize for not doing that before the game but uh, a lot of good tonight obviously in a 22 to 7 victory and I imagine that more than anything you just got to be happy with the way that your team came out and and took this seriously after getting tested last Friday night. Yeah you know I just think we just played much cleaner you know I didn't think in the first you know senior day again that for it always messes things up but uh, I thought today we just played real clean we shot the ball well we got open shots we got the shots we wanted and then we're working hard to get and uh, you know, I think we did a great job. I think Ethan and JT are pr pr proving to be a very formidable two, uh, one-two punch, and they're really giving teams a lot of problems. And so uh, they tried to shut JT off early. That helped Ethan out, and then they went the other way, and that helped JT out. And I think our midfielders are just playing really solid. You know, they're getting to the open guy and finishing our shots, and, uh, and uh, the, you know, that's what we like. You know, I think those two guys are just giving us a lot. But overall, just the cleanliness of the game, how we played, the lack, uh, not very many turnovers at all, and how well we played in the first half defensively really has a lot to build on. I was going to ask you about that defense, Coach, because you had to rebuild after losing your top three defenders early in the season to injury. How do you feel they're playing? Well, I think they're doing a good job. I just like to be a little more consistent down there. I thought we played a solid 30 minutes, and I didn't like our third quarter, how, how we played in that in that 30 minute, uh, 15 minutes. But I think they're doing a great job. You know, they're doing what they can, and a lot of young guys in there playing with freshmen, doing a great job. And, you know, we've really come a long way with who we are. We know what we are, and I think they do a great job playing together. And Sam really anchoring those guys in there has done a great job this year for us. Coach, you know, you stuck with Sam into the fourth quarter tonight, and I, you know, I don't know if there was a thought at any point of, of going a little bit earlier, but as part of this, that you just wanted these guys to be playing really well going into the championship yeah, game. Yeah, you know, Saturday. when you're playing well, you don't want to take guys out because they're playing well. I think, you know, and they've got a really good chemistry, and hopefully that carries over. We usually do uh, played pretty well in the championship game, and and we'll be ready. You know, anytime we see another team, we get a better idea of how to play them and everything, and I think we'll have a really good idea of how to play uh, wider. They end up winning the game, and or Messiah, they end up coming back. But I think we'll, you know, we we've been in these games a lot and we understand what it's about and I think we'll give a great effort. Well, it'll be Saturday night here at Mustang Stadium for a trip to the NCAA tournament. Coach, appreciate it. Congratulations on a big win. We'll see you then. All righty. Thank you. He is Coach Paul Cantabene.